Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. 25th of Tuesday, 25th of January, 2022. And I mean it. Okay, it's cold in here today. Valentine joins us. There she is. Sleeping. A slumbering. Things, well, there's not much going on outside the house. There's been, um, someone's come and cleaned the hotel. I think some of the students have come back. There's been a little bit of ministry of silly jogs going on, but not too much. But as the weather gets warmer, I do feel we're going to be in for some of that. I know. Just going to press that. Okay. Check out your monthly readings for February. There is one up for each star sign. Made while Mercury was retrograde. That's all we need to say about that. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I got them out. I really don't, but I did. I got them out. Some were like, oh, let's not even go there. But God, yeah, I don't know. If I ever doubted astrology, well, I don't really, but God, every time I just think, how did I think this was going to be okay? Anywho, they're good. When they, they are good, actually. Reading some when Mercury retrograde are usually good, but whew, the technicalities. Anywho, we're doing angel answers. Have a question ready. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, yes. It's perfect timing now remember i remember once back in the day um i had like a kind of a guru teacher person and he once said to me Gemma, the world is a perfect place and then he just left it out there for me to think about which i did i kind of thought about it constantly and here we are where are we i don't know 30 years later at least I'm still thinking about it. I'm still talking about it. That's what philosophy is, isn't it? You live it through your life. Um, perfect doesn't always mean good, just how I want it. You know, when he said the world is a perfect place, I kind of thought about it and thought about it. And each time I thought about it, I couldn't refute it. This perfect timing may not seem like perfect timing. It may feel a bit annoying, a bit exasperating, a bit Mercury-ish, but it has two facets to it. Can you see there are two kind of rainbows, auras, arcs, whatever you want to call them. And I feel like it's dualistic. We're going to have a weird reading today, I can just tell. Right, let's get some cards out. Smells like the 70s, people. Oof. Morgan Greer. Okay, itchy nose. Leia's is taken to sleeping on the top of the sofa on a blanket that she thinks is her mother, I think. So there's all this kind of goes on for ages. And then um, she sort of goes to sleep and then <laughs> slips down. <laughs> so when you sit on the sofa, sometimes the boy sits on the sofa to watch the football or something. He's like, what's that? And there's like this cat slipping onto your shoulder. <laughs> so shove her back up again. Well, sometimes you kind of just push her back to see if you can do it, but occasionally she just plops off and wakes up and she's most perturbed about it. There's not a lot you can do. Okay. Morgan Greer smells like the 70s. What do we need to know about? Oof. Hello. The lovers. Itchy nose straight away. Okay. Mm -mm. Of course, the lovers can just mean, rather than love, but sometimes it is love, often, but not always, the choice, okay? For some of you, this is a romantic thing. A romantic thing. Okay. Gosh, there's a lot of wands. This feels very, very crowded. Let's see if we can do a quick biddly bop. I did this. <laughs> I did this in one of the readings for the monthlies. <laughs> and when I did it, it was a different tarot readings cards showed up on the table. <laughs> I was like, hurrah, let's just move on from that. Okay, 
let's try this. Oh God, what have I done? I've done something. Oh no. Okay, we're still recording. That's good. I just accidentally flicked onto Apple TV then. Oh, sorry, my nose is now running as well. Oh, it's all going on, isn't it? Right, let's, let's zone in a bit. Okay, that'll do. Can you see, like, just from looking at it visually, that there's a lot, I was going to say, there's a lot of wood in this picture. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there is. Let's just, you know, because look, it's all, it's here, it's here. If I put those there, even though they kind of belong together. We've got the five of wands here, which is that whole, I can't see the wood for the trees thing, with the three of wands, which is something which is <laughs> trying to say it without sounding like Benny Hill or somebody. Um, there's something growing on them rods. <laughs> there's growth. Okay, there is growth within this. But there's also um, camouflage. It feels like something that you want is hidden from you. That's what I'm trying to say. If I put it in much simpler language, okay. Lovers the choice two people here grappling in the bushes mr joy of sex with his tash and some orchids i think i know um i really like this card actually it's really good artwork the lovers is gemini energy and it's the choice and it's also dualism gemini is the twins there is a feeling here of it could go one way or the other someone's going to give you a choice or there is a choice in the offing and I quite like the nature of it because right next to it over here, we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is generosity, paying it forward, something coming in. It feels like um, it could be to do with work. It could be to do with more money, but for more money comes the sacrifice of something else. Ain't it always the way, okay? Over here, we've got the Ace of Wands. This is Kundalini energy. This is, let's try and get these cards straight, even though they're not straight on the table. Kundalini energy, power, creativity, woof, whatever you want to call it. And it's an Ace as well, so it's quite new. It's quite rockety and it's coming up and we like it. I like this energy. But at the same time, there is just something tricky about it and it could literally just be the whole mercury vibe it's really hard when you've got like this five of wands here too many too many sticks in the air as they say <laughs> oh god um yeah too many cooks spoiling the broth on this one so it could be interference from other people if it's to do with work or friends or a group or something like that but nevertheless this won't be stopped for some of you, this could be a love affair because we have this gorgeous, and I love this card, Knight of Cups coming in on the side. It's an offer of something. It can be love, it can be relationship, it can be meeting someone. It can also be the offer of a job you love or doing a task you love or a hobby you love or time with someone that you love in whatever way, whether it's romantic, platonic, whatever. But there's just... There's just a thread of fight through it, is what I get. Seven of Wands, Mars in Leo, defend your position. But if you do need to defend your position, defend your position gently, okay? It's walk softly and carry a big stick. Nine of Wands, again, make your fortress, defend, 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 but at the same time, don't offend. And also make sure you can still receive, because somebody wants to give to you here says looking at the lover's card somebody wants to give to you and I feel that their motives are good and I know that the road to hell was paved with good intentions but you can be on guard for that and I feel like you already are so yes there are some pitfalls to this scenario but yes there is also some lovely energy that can be worked with and can be used and you remember at the beginning we got perfect timing 
and I said this is not perfection in the way that we know it, nice and shiny and all of the things that were taught are perfect at school, this is perfect in the universal sense. Let's have, mm, 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 animal spirit card, woohoo, oh god that gave me tinnitus. Okay, animal spirit card, oh let's flip back, let's biddly, let's bodily bit. Oh. Can you tell I'm struggling <laughs> with Mercury Retrograde? I am. I am struggling with Mercury Retrograde. Okay. What do we need to know? What spirit card best helps us in this situation, please? It's that one. Ooh. Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't the artwork and just the colours just so gorgeous? Itchy nose. And that is a swan tiara, isn't it? That is a swan tiara. Oh my God. I feel like with this, when you see swans and the way that they actually paddle under the surface is quite kind of, not ridiculous, but it's not as elegant as the gliding that goes on above. It's that whole what's going on underneath the surface, you're paddling furiously and in, a, in some ways kind of doing some ugly work, which I really like. And a lot of creativity is really ugly work. On the surface though, it might not be worth seeming so ruffled. Over here I forgot and did not notice the Wheel of Fortune which was right in front of my face and the Major Arcana, so you may not notice your own good luck here. Don't mistake perfect timing for how you want it, when you want it. It's going to come not quite as you want it and through a bit of adversity rather than on a plate, but it's well worth having the more for it. Well the more worth having for it. None of that made sense, but it's better for it. <laughs> I'm going to go now and put a compress on my head. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know your Mercury experiences. Make me feel better. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.